In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this bare backpack charm. You'll need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, some yarn, stuffing, safety eyes, safety nose, and a clasp. For the head and body, we're going to begin with a magic circle. So take the yarn and wrap it around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop. And then we'll chain one to secure the yarn. And for round one, we'll do six single crochet into that magic circle. Two, three, four, five, six. Now you'll grab that tail and give it a pull. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. So for your increase, you'll do your first single crochet, go back into that same stitch for a second single crochet. And that is your increase. And you'll continue to increase all the way around. So you're putting two single crochet into each stitch to make your increases. And once you reach the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round three, you'll be doing a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And so you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase until you reach the end of this round and you should end up with a total of 18 stitches. For round four, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase. So now you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For rounds five through nine, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round nine, you should still have 24 stitches and it will also be a good time to go ahead and weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. For round 10, you'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet followed by one decrease. So here's one, two, and then for the decrease, you'll go into the next stitch, bring up the loop, go to the following stitch, bring up the loop, grab your yarn, and pull through all three loops. And that is your decrease. And so now you'll continue to repeat two, whoops, two single crochet and one decrease. You'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease until you've reached the end of the round and you should end up with 18 stitches. Once you're finished with round 10, it's time to go ahead and insert your safety eyes. And we're going to place them between rounds six and seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll go in this line here. And we're going to put about three stitches between them. And you'll just take the post of the safety eye, 
and poke it through. Grab your little backing piece and place that over the post. And you might be able to just push it down with your fingers. Otherwise, this is just an old stylus that's missing the rubber tip. And it seems to work perfect for me. So I just place it over that backing. Give it a little push down. Now I want to make sure that you've gone past the little ridges so the backing doesn't come back off. Because it doesn't do any good if it doesn't stay in place. And now the safety eyes are attached and we're ready to move on to round 11. For round 11, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one decrease. And so you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one decrease and at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round 12, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 12 stitches. For round 13, we're going to start increasing. So for this round, you'll do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round 14, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 24 stitches. Before you begin round 15, now's a good time to go ahead and start adding your stuffing and you'll continue to add the stuffing as you go from this point on. And for round 15, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 24 stitches. For round 16, your repeating sequence will be three single crochet followed by one increase. So there's one, two, three, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 30 stitches. For rounds 17, and 18. You're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you reach the end of round 18, you should still have 30 stitches. For round 19, we're going to start decreasing again. And so for this round, your repeating sequence will be three single crochet and one decrease. So there's one, two, three, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For round 20, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet and one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease. 
And at the end of this round, you should end up with 18 stitches. For round 21, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one decrease. And so now you'll just continue to repeat one single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. And don't forget to be adding your stuffing because we'll be getting close to closing this up in the next couple rounds. For rounds 22 and 23, I've removed the stitch marker and we're just going to continually decrease all the way around. And so we'll end up going around probably about two times. And so we'll just keep decreasing until we get this hole closed up. So we're not worried about where the round begins or ends. We're just going to keep on decreasing. I think I can get a couple more in here. And then when it gets down to where it's difficult to do an actual decrease. You'll take your um, hook and run it through and across the stitches and then do a slip stitch and then go under this one more here do one more slip stitch and then we'll tie off and cut the yarn And then we'll be ready to weave in the tail. So I'm going to take my yarn needle and thread that yarn needle. And I always end up with this little bump here when I, the way I close up the holes. And so I'm just going to take this yarn needle and I'm going to run it under a stitch and through those stitches in that little bump that I created and pull that down nice and flat. I think one more here. And that looks good. And so now we'll just go under a stitch and before pulling it all the way through, take your yarn needle through that loop and then pull nice and tight. That will create a knot and then we'll just hide this tail inside the body and snip off that extra yarn. And if you pull it a little tight, when you cut the yarn, it'll just pop back inside and the tail is completely hidden. And there is the head and body for this little backpack charm. For the ears, we're going to begin with a magic circle. And chain one to secure your yarn. And then do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's three, four, five, and six. And then give that tail a pull. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And so you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, 
one increase one single crochet and one increase and at the end of this round you should have nine stitches for round three we'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one increase And then you'll just continue to repeat that all the way around two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round four, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should still have 12 stitches and it will also be a good time to weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn and here I have finished round four I wove in my tail and now I've removed the stitch marker and we're going to take the ear and pinch those ends together and take your hook and going through the stitches on both sides, I'm going to do a single crochet. And you're going to do that going all the way across. So take your hook through the stitches on both sides of your fold and single crochet. And this will close up the ear and help it hold its shape while you sew it on. And when you get to that very last stitch, we'll just do a slip stitch and tie off. Make sure you leave a long enough tail when you cut your yarn that you can use for sewing this on to the head. And you will need to make two of these Once you've made both ears, it'll be time to sew them onto the head. And I've already got one on here. So I'm gonna thread my yarn needle and I'm lining up the top of my ears to the center of the top of the head. And I'll just go through that stitch and pull it through. We're going to come up through one of the stitches in the ear and then just work, work your way across the rows. So under the stitch in the head, through a stitch in the ear, and under a stitch in the head, through a stitch in the ear. And we'll just keep doing that until we've got the ear attached. So it looks like a couple more stitches here. And then for this very end, I'm going to go under a stitch in the head. And then I'm going to grab the stitching here on the side just so I can bring this edge down to where it's up against the head. And then just go through the head and I'm gonna come back over here where I started. Pull that nice and tight and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Just gonna grab that very last row there, run my yarn through it and pull this down nice and tight. Go back through that stitch. And make sure you've got the ears where you want them before you tie off. Probably could have put those down a little bit lower, but I think it'll be okay. 
I'm going to tie off. We're just going to go under a stitch. And before pulling it all the way through, run your yarn needle through that loop. Make it nice and tight. And then just hide the tail inside the head. And snip off the excess yarn. And there we go. The ears are attached. And you can just kind of shape them a little bit so that way they're nice and rounded. And there we go. And we're ready to move on. For the muzzle, we're going to do a magic circle. Chain one to secure your yarn. And then do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, six. Pull the tail. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And then when you come to the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For rounds three and four, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And then when you've reached the end of round four, you should still have 12 stitches. And it will also be a good time to weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. And here I am at the end of round four. I'm going to remove my stitch marker and then slip stitch into that next stitch and then tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing. And now we're ready to add our safety nose. To attach the safety nose, it's the same process as with the eyes. I'm going to take the little post. I'm going to come up here between rounds two and three and just poke it in through one of the stitches. And take the backing and pop that into place. And there we have attached the nose. Once you have your nose attached, it's time to attach the muzzle to the head. And I've added just a small amount of stuffing to help it hold its shape. And the top of the muzzle is going to go just, just below the eyes. Or actually, it'll kind of line up at that line right at the center of the eyes. And to attach it, we're just going to take and go under a stitch in the head. and up through a stitch in the muzzle. And under a stitch in the head, up through a stitch in the muzzle. And you're definitely going to want to check to make sure it is staying in the correct position while you do this. So under a stitch in the head, 
through the stitch in the muzzle. So you'll just continue to work your way all the way around until you get back to where you started. And here I've come all the way back around and we'll do a quick check before I tie this off, make sure it's centered. And then to finish it, we'll just go under a stitch. And before pulling it all the way through, take the yarn needle through that loop, pull it nice and tight, and then hide the tail. And snip off the excess yarn. And now the muzzle is attached and we're ready to sew a tiny little smile onto him. To attach the mouth, we're going to take a piece of black yarn, tie a slip knot on one end, and run the other end through a yarn needle. And then we're going to go through one of the stitches. Take your yarn needle through that loop that you made for the slip knot and tighten it up. And pull through. And we're going to come back through that original hole and out through the same hole that we did before. Pull nice and tight, and we will tuck this tail in after we're done. And so now we're gonna go through the hole we just came out of, come out the next one, and before you pull it all the way through, take your needle through that loop and pull tight. And then go back through the stitch that you just came out of and out through the next one and through the loop and pull tight. And then to tie it off, we're going to come up to the next hole, go through that stitch, go through the loop and that will create the knot and then we'll just take our yarn needle through that stitch that we came out of and run it through the head so we can hide that tail now we're going to grab this tail and run that through going through one of the stitches that we did over here and through the head and pull tight and then snip off your excess yarn and then you just take your needle and puff that back out which will cause that tail to go back inside the head so as you're lifting this up it will cause that tail to go inside the head and there we go we've got our little smile I got that on a little crooked but I think it'll be okay for this time and there is the mouth for the arms we'll begin with a magic circle and chain one to secure and then do six single crochet into that magic circle there's three four five and six and give that tail a pull close up the hole and place your stitch marker and at this point you should have six stitches for row two 
we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet, followed by one decrease. And now you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have nine stitches. For round four, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have nine stitches. And it will also be a good time to weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. Here I am at the end of round four. I wove in my tail and I've added just a little bit of stuffing it's not a very big arm, so it doesn't take very much. And now we're going to do like we did with the ears, where we pinch the opening closed and do a single crochet going through both sides, doing that all the way across, making sure to catch the stitches on both sides of the fold. And then on that final stitch, you'll just do a slip stitch and tie off. And then cut your yarn, leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. And you'll need to kind of squish it back into its shape once you've tied off. And there we go. We need to make two of these. To attach the arms, you're going to thread your yarn needle. I'm going to line the arms up with the sides of the body. And coming down about one row below the neck, just going to go under a stitch in the body and through a stitch in the arm. Under a stitch in the body through a stitch in the arm. And we'll just continue doing that all the way across. And then once we've made it all the way across, you just take and stick it through the body. And I'll go under a stitch to tie off. So through the loop before pulling it all the way, pull nice and tight, and then hide the tail inside the body. And there we go. And the arms are now attached. For the legs, we'll begin with the magic circle and chain one to secure and then do six single crochet into that magic circle. Two, three, four, five, and six. And pull the tail. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of three single crochet and one increase. 
There's one, two, three, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 15 stitches. For round four, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 15 stitches. And it will also be a good time to weave in that beginning tail. For round five, we're going to do a repeating sequence of three single crochet followed by one decrease. Here's one, two, three, decrease. And now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round six, you'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet, followed by one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have nine stitches. For round seven, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have nine stitches. And then you will also need to take a moment and add your stuffing. And here I am at the end of round seven. I've added my stuffing. And just like with the arm, we're going to fold this flat and do some single crochets, making sure to go through the stitches on both sides of the fold. So we'll just single crochet all the way across. And when you get to this very last stitch here, do a slip stitch and tie off. And make sure you leave enough of a tail that you can sew this onto the body with. And you will need to make two. Once you have finished making both legs, you'll be ready to attach it to the body. And I've already got the first one on. And we want the center of the legs to be lined up with the center of the bottom of the body. So I'll thread your yarn needle and we'll go under a stitch in the body and through a stitch in the leg. And under a stitch in the body, through a stitch in the leg. And I wanna try to keep these symmetrical, so make sure I'm lining that up correctly. One more stitch here. And I'm gonna come under one more stitch and I'm just gonna catch the very edge, oops, of this last row here and bring that down even with the rest of the body. And then just run that yarn through the body and then to tie off we'll go under a stitch bring your needle through the loop and give it a pull and then we'll hide the tail just like that and snip off the excess yarn and now we have our legs attached I think I actually got them even Yay! All right, all we have left to do is make the strap that goes to the clasp.
For the strap and clasp, we're going to take our yarn and do five single crochet on to the uh, bottom of the clasp. So bring our yarn in. And do a chain to secure. And now do five single crochet going through the bottom of the clasp. And that way you're working your stitches around the bottom of the clasp. So there's two. Three. Four, five, and now you'll chain one and turn. For row two, we're going to do a decrease. One single crochet and a decrease. And chain one and turn. For row three, we're going to do three single crochet. And then tie off. And then when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing. And then we'll take this beginning tail and weave it in. So just skip that first stitch, that first loop there. Just take it under the loops. A little tight and then skip that loop that you just came out of and go back through and pull and that will secure that tail in place and now we are ready to attach it to the bear Once your strap is attached to the clasp, you will need to attach this to the bear. So we're gonna come to the back of the bear's head and just come down about four rows down from the center and just stitch that into place. We'll go under a stitch in the head and through a stitch in the strap. Under a stitch in the head, through a stitch in the strap. And working all the way across. that stitch and then I'm going to go under one more and grab the edge of that last row there and come back through and then go under the stitch and tie off Take needle through the loop and pull. And we'll hide the tail inside the head. And there we go. This little bear backpack charm is now done. The clasp is attached. And it's ready to hook on to a backpack or a purse 
or anything really. There we go.